My name is Kevin Mooney, and I'm uh, 21 years old, and I'm working with DVS Theatre. Uh, and on this play production, I'm directing. I'm directing Stags and Hens, July 21st, 25th, or in the theatre. Kev, um, well the play is interesting because it shows uh, what the, I suppose what the um, repressive atmosphere of Liverpool, the different effects it has on people. So, Cav is the defeatist. He's accepted his place in Liverpool and accepted the fact that he's not going to get out. And uh, so, everything he says and does has that cynical edge to it. There's a bit of, a bit of venom in there. And uh, he gets his kicks out of putting people down, really. He has a bit of a, a mind, so he considers himself maybe a little above people. I'm Lindsay and I'm playing Carol. And tell us a little bit about Carol. Well, Carol, she's the kind of ditzy blonde one and she loves mini skirts and she's in love with a character called Robbie. And that's basically it really. She's a bit, uh, you know, straightforward that way. She's very stereotypical. stereotypical. She went into tomorrow, there'll be a nice cake and a nice face. Nice prize mates, nice presents and a nice bride and room. But no cooks, you got the room to anything silly. Sexy. But uh, I don't know, I, I find Scouse just as sexy as Scottish, if not more so. And how do you think um, how do you think the cast are finding the accents? It's 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 been difficult, but you can clearly see people are putting a lot of work into it. Um, I suppose it's just it's the general thing of losing your, your Kilkenny accent or your Dublin accent or whatever accent people originally work with. And uh, finding the words and finding the, the proper pronunciations. I mean there's different stresses and different vowel noises and stuff like that, so there's a lot of work involved. But um, people seem to be hacking, you know, getting getting through it all right. So um, <laughs> and then she just announces that she's getting married and she's not in the club or anything like that. It took me ages to get that bit. <laughs> My mum always laughs at it. <laughs> okay, if I had to pick one. Um, well, I'm not sure. There, there, there are various points where um, a defining character trait is revealed. And I love when those bits happen because you really get a great sense of insight. I'm going to have to say, though, just the end in general, where things get really messy. That's just a case of letting yourself go and getting right in there. So, uh, yeah, I think my, mo my favourite moment of the play is the end, I have to say. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. It should be the best ever. So come to the play now. That's it. Cool. Thanks again. <laughs>